crime rates have increased all over the country and we have seen a noticeable spike locally here in Houston. Regardless of the pandemic, changes in lifestyle, issues with bail reform or the judicial system or any other factors, we cannot make excuses. We must find solutions to address our crime issues. Public safety has always been and remains my top priority. Since being elected into office a little over two years ago, my office has worked to come up with creative and proactive solutions and important and innovative strategies to combat crime. We have created the District J Patrol, which is a modern approach to community policing, where we have a task team made up of community volunteers who work collaboratively with the HPD Differential Response Team to address neighborhood crimes and violations. Residents are able to report smaller quality of life crimes on the districtjpatrol.com website and the HPD DRT unit will be able to respond. Each officer is paid with overtime dollars directly from my office and are equipped with open concept Polaris vehicles that can go on road and off road. And you see some of these Polaris vehicles behind me. This is the first patrol of its kind. And over the past year, residents have made over 1,000 submissions on the districtjpatrol.com and every single submission can be tracked on the website. Recently, we have expanded the Southwest Management District to encompass the Richmond Avenue strip of the St. George area of District J, which we're in right now. We have also activated another management district in Gulfton. This will add to the already existing Braze Oaks Management District and the International Management District. These management districts are critical because it is another avenue for us to be able to collect additional assessments by commercial property owners that we can go towards additional patrol and security in their areas. And I want to thank the Southwest Management District, the International Management District, Braze Oaks, as well as Gulfton. Uh, for your commitment to public safety. Each of these management districts is currently putting together specific strategies that will help address certain crimes that are unique to their areas of District J. But just having additional patrol will no longer be enough. We do not have enough officers to be everywhere at all times. So in conjunction with HPD and my office, we have now committed to investing over $100,000 in license plate readers, which will be cameras strategically placed all over the district on certain streets and intersections. We know that many crimes are committed by criminals in stolen vehicles or with fake license plates. These license plate readers will capture still photos of every single car that passes through the intersection. And if that car has been reported to have been stolen or involved in an accident or a crime, an automatic alert will be immediately sent to HPD and, there will be, and they will be able to track these vehicles and begin their investigation. My office will purchase 40 license plate readers. The Southwest Management District has also committed to another 40 license plate readers. And the other management districts will be committing as well and so that we should have over 100 license plate readers all over District J. We want to send a strong message that if you commit crimes and you ride through our district, we will see you and we will catch you. The only way to reduce crime is to have deterrence and these license plate, cam these license plate cameras should be able to be a deterrent because if it's one thing criminals do not like, it's to be on camera. We want people to know that we will be tracking every single car that comes through these intersections where we have the license plate cameras. And if it has been found that you have been involved in a crime with that vehicle, we will see you and we will be coming after you. To strengthen this initiative, we will also have many public-private partnerships with commercial property owners to install outward-facing cameras to the street for surveillance. We're at 6060 Richmond Ave and the owner Fred Bendera of the Ardenware Group is many, one of the many property owners who has committed to installing more surveillance cameras. 
these cameras will be recording 24 7 and they will be working in conjunction with HPD to ensure that any footage that is captured on there that will be a benefit to them will be released. We really want people to understand that we are cracking down on crime in District J. And we want all the criminals to be on notice that all eyes will be on you when you ride through District J. I want to thank all of you all for your commitment and to speak further on these license plate cameras and the benefit it will be to HPD, I want to bring up Chief Bashir. Good morning, everybody. My name is Yasser Bashir, and I'm Assistant Chief um, with Houston Police Department. I'm currently over the southwest part of Houston and have grown up here. I have patrolled out here, and I was a commander out here. And this is a, a, a part, of this part of the city where it's very busy. A lot of criminals, they come here specifically to commit crime during nighttime hours, even during the day. Um, the one thing I love about this conference is, a press conference is, we're all coming together, our community partners, law enforcement, and our community members, and all on the same page is well, how we're gonna address this violent crime. As you know that HPD, we're going through a lot of tough challenges, especially with the crime, and this tool is very beneficial because it provides us with leads that we can, can further investigate and catch those criminals. In the past, some of the few success stories I do want to share, that we were able to solve homicides, ag robbery suspects, missing individuals, uh, because of this, uh, the, the, the images from the vehicles. And I just want to continue that partnership and continue to build on that. Um, I don't want to go into details about the specific cases. I specifically remember one gang shooting that within the same day we were able to identify those individuals and have warrants and they were arrested within a matter of days. And that's how quickly these type of cameras can help us and fight this violent crime. And uh, this is where um, I will end and I have the next speaker come in and I'll stay afterwards if you have any more questions. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Bashir. I won't uh, repeat everything that he said, but we echo everything that Chief Bashir said. And we just want to say that we thank Councilmember Pollard who has from day one been uh, focused on law enforcement and focused on public safety. When we first spoke with him, he said that was going to be a commitment for him his entire time on, on council, and he's made that true. Just like we said when he purchased these Polaris's behind us, that he walks the walk. He doesn't just talk the talk, but he gets out here. He makes sure he sees what's going on. His chief of staff, he have both ridden and seen what these license plate readers can do to help us fight crime. I want to thank the management districts for also putting forth money to to stop these uh, these criminals from being able to run around District J, and I hope other council members will follow suit and do the same things in their district. So thank you, Councilmember Pollard, and thank you for all you on the management district for what y'all do for us. Keep us safe. Hello, my name is Fred Bandara. I'm a property owner on Richmond Avenue. We've owned the building behind us for the last uh, 30 years. We have expanded our presence on Richmond Avenue to six more properties. So uh, we are rested here. Uh, as a matter of introduction, I want to introduce all the management district people. There are several management districts. Please raise your hand, management district members. Thank you for attending. People talked about bring management districts bringing money to, uh, to, to the table. Yes, that is true. But besides bringing money, they also bring local knowledge, uh, you know, and, and, uh, and we get a feeling of participation in, our, in, in the whole area. So th that is the benefit of the management districts from our point of view. Uh, as far as uh, the uh, council member said that we had recently annexed the Richmond Avenue strip into the management district, we hope that will help us uh, deal with the crime situation in this area. Just want to give you a brief history of this area. 30 years ago, this was a very vibrant strip. And since then, because of the demographic shifts and all, we have seen our businesses suffer. We have seen our property values go down. And we, we want to revive this. Five years ago, or plus or minus five years ago, we joined into the St. James Place Tours number one. And you can see the benefits of that uh, with all the explanations and all the beautification that has taken place in this district. Similarly, by joining with the Southwest Management District, 
we hope to get a better handle on the crime. Let me also say this, I've been uh, the, uh, I have been the public safety director uh, for the International Management District and also for the South Management District for the last 16 years. And what I've learned is crime just can't be left onto the police. We have to partner with the police. We, the citizens, have to partner with the police and help them solve the crime. So this is going to be a truly a public-private partnership. There I'm pointing to another camera called the Zaladium camera. That's our contribution to the partnership. This is a deterrent camera. It's going to deter crime. The, the other flock cameras that was introduced before us, they're more geared to what the police needs to solve crime. We are trying to deter crime. So this is an example of partnership coming together to solve crime. Uh, we, we committed to community policing, we committed to DRT officers, all that was mentioned. These are the things and benefits of a management district. Along with that, we get graf graffiti abatement and s several other things that the uh, management districts bring to the, uh, bring to the table. Lastly, I just have some thoughts that I want to share with the police and the city leadership. Uh, you know, we we have a whole bunch of problems here with thefts of catalytic converters in our parking lot. In the last uh, month or so, we have had six such thefts. We keep reporting to them to the police. Uh, I'm just asking, why can't we go after the people who buy these catalytic converters? Why can't uh, why can't we go after the uh, the the you know, the, the shops that uh, buy these things and stop a, uh, put a stop to this. The other thing is illegal clubs, clubs that uh, operate illegally after hours, that is another big problem on this, uh, in this community. And I request HPD and, and the leadership to give us some help with that. Uh, there are several strategies. Uh, it's illegal. TABC can be put on them. Houston Fire Department can go and investigate these uh, establishments. So anyway, uh, the whole idea is thank you, Council Member. Thank you, everybody, for trying to help us, and we need it. So quick note, a couple days ago, my car was parked outside of my home. I was getting up like any other day, uh, headed to the gym, and I noticed that my front passenger window of my truck was broken. Someone must have come on the street, bashed in the window, and they took some belongings that were inside of the truck. Now we have surveillance uh, around the property uh, but the, the, the cameras were kind of grainy. We saw the individuals, we saw the make and model of the vehicle, but we weren't able to really capture a license plate. However, if we were to have these license plate readers at the intersections around the area, even knowing the make and model of the vehicle and the time in which uh, they left the property, we could have tracked that, that vehicle, okay? Once you report a, a theft or the car has been reported to be involved in a crime, then these license plate readers will be able to track every single car coming and going. And that's why it's so important to really put uh, this uh, additional surveillance out on the streets. This is something that we want the criminals to understand that if you commit a crime and you drive up and down our corridors, our streets, in and out of our neighborhoods, we will find you. We will catch you. So this is a warning. Some people may talk about, oh, this is Big Brother. Well, sometimes when, when crime gets high and circumstances become difficult, you got to call on your Big Brother, right? You need to call on some backup to assist you in the situation. And so that's what we're doing. These particular cameras have a flock technology, which is a software that um, the particular company that owns the cameras will be able to store the footage and they will be able to provide the footage in real time to HPD if it is found that that car was involved in a crime. 
We want people to understand that we won't just be recording you on every single uh, intersection. This is not like the red light cameras that were out giving out tickets. This will only be flagged if your car has been reported to be involved in an accident. So we want to stress that. But we also want people to understand that businesses such as this at 6060 Richmond will have outward facing cameras to the streets for 24 seven surveillance, all right? So there will be eyes everywhere. We may not be able to put a police officer on corners or, or every corner of our district, but our aim is to put as many cameras on every single corner of our district. And so we hope this will be a tactic that will deter crime and be as a result of that, reduce crime, and that we will make our city and our neighborhoods much safer for the residents of the city of Houston. So thank you all for being here. And at this time, we'll open it up to any questions that you all may have. They will be installed very soon. Uh, we won't be putting any um, specifics about where the cameras will be and, and when they will be up, but we can tell you that they will be up very soon. We wanted this press conference to serve as a, a, a notice and a warning that over the next few weeks, they will be all over the district, and we, we look forward to hopefully adding on to that inventory as time goes on. So the cameras will be able to uh, track if a car has a fake plate. Um, they have technology that it will be able to show once they read that fake plate, um, if that is a legit plate or not. If it's not a legit plate, then that in itself will be a crime. And we will be able to track those vehicles. It still can read a paper tag as well as the normal license plates as well. Correct. If the car has been found to be reported to be involved in a crime, those will be the cars that will be flagged. Every single car going through will have a picture taken of it, but only the, the cars that have been reported to be involved in a crime will get flagged to HPD to start an investigation. Any other questions? Sorry. Just like any other lead, uh, the investigator will look at that and see, uh, develop uh, whatever leads and develop any suspects or things like that. I really don't want to go into details at this press conference. I can do it in private uh, because I don't want the criminals to get all our you know, investigative tools. But like I said earlier, these leads or uh, these f images really help us you know, tremendous, tremendously in finding those individuals. As I stated earlier, Catalytic converters, we have caught suspect catalytic converters, road rage incidents, homicides, I can go on and on how beneficial this technology has been for us. Thank you. Well, under uh, the mayor's One Safe Houston plan, uh, if you recall, a couple of weeks ago, Chief Finner um, put a, a call out to council members and to the city of Houston to really invest in these license plate readers. He believes that this technology is a, a new innovation that will aid his police department. Once we heard that, we jumped on it. We said we want to take the, the, the lead on getting these license plate readers out there. Obviously, HPD has their own uh, strategies and ways in which they will utilize this footage and help them aid in their investigations. And so this is a way in which our office can show that we're supporting them and all of the different tools and resources that they ask for so that they can do their jobs properly. Well, again, I want to thank you all for being here. If you can look behind me, uh, District J is the most diverse district in the entire city. The city of Houston is the most diverse city in the country. What you see behind me is a representation of that. These are community stakeholders, business owners, law enforcement and professionals, 
all banding together with one single focus, and that is to deter crime and to make our city safer. And we're committed to doing just that. And we look forward to uh, a day in which we can come back and tell you the success of these license plate readers and the other initiatives that we're doing in District J. So God bless you all. Thank you.